guys, Crystal here with Sea Light Candles and Soaps, and we are doing a Jamaica Me Crazy soap today. Um, I've used Jamaica Me Crazy in my candles, and I believe I've used it in um, when I've mixed some fragrances. I've used it, but I cannot remember actually using it by itself. So I wanted to make one. I absolutely love Jamaica Me Crazy. It's one of my favorite scents. I love making candles out of it. Um, my candles usually sell pretty quick with that fragrance. Um, it's a lot of people's favorite. That next to um, Black Raspberry Vanilla and Sweet Pea and stuff like that. Um, in this right here, I've got my goat's milk, my kaolin clay, and my oatmeal. Um, I'm doing half the half and half method today. We're doing um, half goat's milk and half water and all the lye. So I've got the goat's milk here and then the other half in water with all of the lye. And I don't like using full milk um, soaps. I mean, I can do them and I mean, I like them, but I just prefer it myself personally I think they're better when you do half and half and I do aloe as my other half as well um, sometimes instead of water but today I did aloe and, um, and I just I don't know just something about the creaminess of the half and half method um, I mean the full milk soaps are good but I just like this one better and I believe you get a more bubbly lather um, instead of full milk soaps so um, I've seen this on YouTube, um, this right here, I've seen it on YouTube, and like I've told you the past couple videos, I've seen it from I, uh, Celine over I Am Handmade, she's done a couple videos, and she mixes her Kaylin Clay and stuff like that, so I tried it, and I actually kind of like it, so I think I might stick with it, you never know guys, I mean, I try different things all the time, sometimes I stick with it, sometimes I don't. But I'm going to go ahead and get it poured and stop yapping my mouth. And with the goat's milk, camel clay, and oatmeal. I like to talk too much. <laughs> I can't help it. I just love talking to everybody. Even though I'm kind of technically talking to myself. But that's okay. I'm crazy, I know. Alright, let's get this blended up. Um, if you hear my fan in the background, I got a fan going. I always burn up when I soap, and this summer has just been extra, extra hot. Uh, we don't have air conditioning in our house. Our air conditioner's broke. So I had to put me a fan over here because by the time I am done soaping, I'm just sweating so bad. And I still burn up even with the fan on me, but it's not as bad. So there's still some oils floating. And what we're going to do today is I am going to do a bottom layer of this Keelan Blue. It's a really dark blue. I got gloves, baby. Get down. Uh, we're going to do a bottom layer of the Keelan Blue. And then we're going to have this blue and then this blue um, in, a, in the pot swirl in my big pot here with white. And I hope I have enough titanium dioxide or titanium dioxide. Sorry. Um, my daughter moved my light on me. Um, I'll poo. I hope I have enough. If I can even say it right. Um, because I don't have any more made up and I hate to stop just to do that. Alright, so let's go ahead with the lie and we'll quit talking here. So, in with the lie and we're not going to put our fragrance in yet. I'm going to do it, um after I do my colors because like I said I've not really worked with it even though half my bottle's gone which is kind of weird but um I've not really worked with it that much so let me get this rinsed out 
All right, guys. So, and for some reason, my batter likes to rice on me now, and I think it's because of the steric acid I use. But uh, every time I put my lye in my oils, look at that. It rices. And it has to be the steric acid. It has to be the steric acid in it because that's the only thing different about my recipe is this new steric acid that I got. Alright, now let's go ahead. Let me, I want to add my glycerin to my super fat here. That way we can get it all in at once. Alright, so in with the super fat. And I'm this is just extra super fat. Um, I already super fat my recipes. I calculate it into my recipe on soap calc, but I have been enjoying the actually the extra super fat that I've been putting in. I think it really does make a difference and I like how it turns out. Alright, I'm going to try not to mix. I don't want this to really thicken up on me. That's why I'm not putting the fragrance in yet. I'm trying not to mix it if I can help it. Can you guys see? Yeah, you can see it. Alright. That looks good and emulsifying. Alright, I'm not going to mix this all together yet. I'm going to go ahead with my, my bottom blue layer and get it measured out and get the fragrance in it. And then we're going to put it on the bottom and then we'll work on the rest of it. So I need this to be on pounds and ounces. Whoa. Dang it. That needs it's way too much. Okay. I went overboard there. Okay, that's not bad. So let's put this to the side for right now. Yeah, I really went overboard. There's our fragrance. And I know I put enough colorant in the bottom of these. I should have anyway. Yeah, I did. Just bringing it to the top. This is so pretty. Look how deep and pretty that blue is. Isn't that gorgeous? Make sure I get it all mixed here. Get on the bottom where the color is and bring it to the top. So far this is working beautifully. And the reason why I'm doing this first is because I need that bottom layer, this bottom layer, to um, harden up before I do the rest of my colors in the in the pot swirl. So here's my mold. And I want to save just a little bit for the top, so I'm going to put almost all of it in. I just want to save a little bit. Just whatever's left in this, that's good right there. Let's tap it out a little bit. Alright, now put it to the side. All right, now we can work on the rest of it. All 
knock some of that color down. as wide as it's going to get here. And of course, my stick blender cord is getting in my way, like always. I think is my nemesis. The stick blender cord always gets in my way. Every batch I do. It gets in my darn way. It's not white white, but it's white enough. Okay. So let me get these ready. And I'm gonna go ahead and pour in the fragrance. And it's anchored in tapioca starch, like always. Alright, let's get these mixed up. Hopefully it doesn't accelerate too bad on me. And I hope these colors are different enough to where you can tell. I'm hoping they are. I used three different colors to get these colors. I mixed two of them together to get one blue and then used just another one to get another blue. And I hope that I did enough color contrast to be able to tell them apart. It would really suck if they look the same. My hands getting. Oh Lord, look at what I just did. Gosh, I'm not with it today. And I've switched to using these rags. I cut me up a bunch of rags because I thought, I, you know, I'm using way too many paper towels. And I wanted to save on money for, first and foremost. Oh yeah, those are different colors. I wanted to save on money, but I also wanted to, you know, save on the trash and all that good stuff. Okay, those are good and mixed. Now I'm going to do it in the pot swirl. So I'm going to take these out here. And oh my gosh, this smells so good. I absolutely love the way this scent smells. The Jamaican Me Crazy is awesome. Alright, there's that one. And that one. Alright, I'm going to start with this blue. I'm going to go up high. And then as I go, get closer, I go to the bottom. I'm going to leave the rest of that for the top. Again, I'm going to start from up high. And as I get closer, I go to the bottom. And the rest of that can be for the top. Alright, so now what we're going to do is make sure you guys can see. Okay, so I'm going to take this. I'm going to go around once, through the middle, around again, through the other middle. And I don't want to muddy up the colors too much. Alright, I'm going to get my mold back. Oh yeah, this blue is nice and set up. Good. And I already know from experience that um, these little clips will hinder my pour. So I gotta take them off 
And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to try my hardest not to break through. So I'm going to pour it on top of my spatula and just let my spatula do, whoa, do the work. It's going a little too fast. That looks awesome, you guys. Let me get my rack here. And it already looks like it's going over. But I'm going to try to put a top on it anyway. I'm not going to do a spoon swirl. So let's go ahead and start with the, the blue. The first blue. Jamaican me crazy. Oh, that's pretty. Is it pretty? Mm -hmm. My daughter likes it, so that's a good sign. Mommy, what happened to Tylenol? Yeah, we got Tylenol, buddy. It's in the cabinet. You're missing a whole lot. Where? Right Look. What? All that soap. Where? Look. I've not got it yet, honey. Hang on. I was trying to tell you. Thank you, but I just haven't got it yet. I love these blues. Now, I, I've got my drink in the freezer. Who's here? Alright, there's that one. Now we're going to get this one. some of that white portion in the bowl for a reason. I'm going to put it on the very top. Well, it's not really white. It's white mixed with blue, but I want to be able to put it on the top of this. This is looking gorgeous. Love all these blues, you guys. I'm so happy I decided to go with that. And all these blue, the different colors, just the contrast really looks good. No. Can I take a full shower? Yeah. I'm going to take your Tylenol, baby. I already did. You did? Mm -hmm. Alright, there's all the blues on that. Now... The little bit of white that I have. Is that Jamaican me crazy? Yep, this is Jamaican me crazy.
Looks like about all I'm going to get out of there. Alright, one more pound down. Now, let's swirl it with our skewer here. I'm going to start on this side. I'm going to do a couple passes diagonally. Go this way. guys so this was our Jamaica me crazy look how pretty that looks gorgeous ain't it so stay tuned for the cut hey guys crystal here with sea lock candles and soaps and my tripod broke on me guys so I'm using my old tripod I hope you guys can see okay we are here to cut the Jamaica me crazy it's still a bit soft but this is what it looks like. Really pretty. You're making me crazy. That's what it's called. You're making me crazy. Don't mind my kids. Uh, we just got back from the store. Yeah, we just got back from the store. Uh, I've been wanting to cut this one open. So I'm going to go ahead and get it in piece. And I hope you guys can see. Oh, I got to tighten my wire here. It might be a little bit too soft to cut. But I'm going to cut it anyway. I'm just impatient, I guess. Look how pretty that is. Oh my gosh. So I did a bottom layer of blue, of the dark blue. And then we did two different kinds of blue on top. And then there's the top to that. So pretty. I'm so glad I did it like this. It's still a bit soft, but not too soft to cut. This tripod is like so tall. I'm afraid that you guys won't be able to see what I'm doing. And I made me some rags instead of using um, paper towels. I've decided that I was using way too many paper towels and I was spending a lot of money on them. And to me, it was just too wasteful. Um, it was like throwing money away and filling up the landfill. So I had my daughter give me an old shirt of hers. And I made me some rags out of it. So, And actually they've been cleaning up better than the paper towels. So I'm actually quite happy with it. And I love the bottom part of that. Um, it's a little bit too thin. I'm glad I didn't break through. But next time, I think I might add just a bit more on the bottom. I want more of a thicker line on the bottom. Can I try the 
crazy? Well, it's not ready yet, and I just made it. Ooh, look at that. Isn't that pretty? Can we make supper? No, it's not time for supper, silly. It's only 11 o'clock. Yeah, it's 11 o'clock. At night. Yeah. So I'm really loving this. And I'm so happy I didn't break through. I was so scared I was going to break through to the bottom. But I'm in love with this effect. I love the way it looks. And it smells so good. Oh my gosh. I love this scent. I like making it in candles. And I sell out of it when I make it in candles. A lot of people like the scent too. I just never thought to use it in my soaps. What about What honey? Yes, you can have something to eat. I'm getting her at So, yeah, definitely in love with this please. scent. And I like the way I did it. It's like a marbled effect. Oh, I like it. I hope you guys can see. I don't know if you guys can see because this is a different tripod and I can't just look and see if you can tell. I just got to There we go. I have to get on my tiptoes and look cuz the tripod's so big. Definitely love the way this look. Ooh, that that's a bit of color that didn't get absorbed. Oops. Well, that's not good. That's a lot of color that didn't get mixed in. So definitely going to try this effect again. I'm in love with it. I absolutely think it's beautiful. All right, guys, quit, please. Um, if you like this video. Please do subscribe and hit the like button. And of course, comment. Love it when you guys comment. You know, I will write back to you. Uh, I got an idea for another soap today, guys. So, uh, until then, until the next video. Bye-bye.